what's up welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be taking you through what a week looks like for me totally fun employed and building my first ios app So when I quit my job nine months ago, one of the things I quickly realized about myself was that I was chronically online. The free time I now had because I wasn't going to work, I was absolutely wasting it on social media basically, especially TikTok. When I started making more TikTok content, I was finding myself scrolling for hours on TikTok and I felt like it was low-key becoming an addiction. Basically, I just didn't want this valuable time that I had during my sabbatical to be wasted on social media. And anyone who uses these social media apps knows that social media is extremely addictive and it's so difficult to manage your screen time on these social media apps because they're wired to keep you on there for as long as possible. So to manage that screen time, I think the first place people go to is using Apple screen time restrictions to help limit their usage on those apps. But for me, I found that it was not helpful at all. Another thing people do is they just delete the app. I felt like I couldn't do that. You know, I make social media content. I enjoy social media. I still wanted to enjoy it, but just in smaller amounts. So that's why I decided to create an app that kind of extends screen time's functionality and really helps people manage their screen time. And I've been using it for the past few weeks and it's really, really changed my screen time usage and it's really brought it down a lot. I'm excited to bring you guys on this journey to completing and launching this app. And I feel like it's gonna be such a cool app, especially if you're like me and are chronically online and you want something that will help you manage your screen time that's better than what Apple currently has. If you're watching this video and you're also curious and you feel like this is a tool that you would love to use, definitely leave your email in the link in my description box and then when the app launches, I'll send you an email so you can get first dibs on the app. Let me show you guys this app and let me show you what we have so far. When you first get on the app, you get to see like analytics and data on your current screen time and like the five apps that you use the most. Then you have this thing called blocking sessions. The core functionality of this app is it allows you to block certain apps at certain times. If you're someone like me, like I don't wanna use social media in the night and I don't wanna have access to actually any of my apps in the evening all the way until the morning. So basically you create blocking sessions, which allows you to block your usage during that time period. And another functionality that we'll add later is just this idea of like goals. For someone who did not know iOS, I started learning a little over one month ago being able to have built this app is mind-blowing and crazy and I'm very proud that I was able to build something with limited knowledge of iOS. But yeah, there's a lot to do this week in terms of developing this app. I'm planning to launch it in the next few weeks, but there's so many things that need to be done. This app has a ton of bugs in it, unfortunately, that I'm trying to fix. I have a huge list of bugs that I'm going to work through. I'm going to learn how to actually test these iOS apps. I have no idea how testing works for these iOS apps. Like I have no idea how to write unit tests for iOS apps, integration tests, don't know how to do any of those things. So I'm excited to learn about it. Another thing too that I'm gonna do, as you can tell, the app is ugly. Like it is not cute right now. That's something I'm gonna fix this week. It is 6.30 and I'm still working. I took a few breaks, but I am still putting in the work. I was able to fix quite a few bugs. One of the bugs was so easy is about the text color. There was a weird bug though, that when a user would sign out, somehow if they signed in, like the page wouldn't load, fix that as well. But guys, the reason I got on camera was because I got my grades back. I didn't really tell anyone this because I wasn't sure if I was gonna continue doing it, but I don't know if you remember when I said that I quit my job, I said I was gonna take a few CS classes and I actually took a few CS classes. I took two CS classes. I did another introduction to computer science class, which I felt like was not valuable in a discrete math class, which wasn't super valuable towards a post-bac CS degree that I was thinking of doing. I just wanted to see if I wanted to continue doing like formal CS classes. It's something I've always said I wanted to do, but I've never really gotten the time to do it. But now during my sabbatical, I literally have the time. I have no excuses. So I decided to take two CS classes online and I got my grades back and I passed my classes, which is great. But now I'm finding myself wondering if I'm gonna even continue on doing these CS classes. Right now, I'm still unsure 
it's leaning more towards no, just because I didn't find value in those intro level courses. I'm, what I might do is just move forward and try to take those like more advanced classes in operating systems, computer architecture, because I felt like that was what I was missing. And then maybe doing those, that will like help me out. So it's the next day. I started the day by walking, which was really nice. Got me in a really positive spirit, especially seeing all the cool Christmas decor all over New York City. Like these companies went all out with some of the Christmas decor. So it was really crazy. But now what I'm doing is I am going to be working on the design of the app. So I don't have a background in design. I don't have a background in UX. So I'm actually working with a designer to help me improve the design and the ux of this app this is what we have right now as you can see the wireframes are not giving i drew this on paper and pen and i also used canva to kind of create a rough idea of what i wanted the app to look like but as you can tell it's not in a good state but thankfully i have a connection in my network someone who is a designer she has experience working on numerous apps so she's actually going to help me improve the design of this app but i need to send her a few things first i need to send her how the app is going to flow i also need to send her an inspiration board of what i want the app to look like so that's what i'm going to be working on right now and hopefully i can get that to her by the end of the day and after that we're going to the christmas markets in new york which i'm really excited to do i didn't get to visit them last year and i'm really excited to visit them this year So this is what the Pinterest board I have right now for the app. I'm really trying to get like this really cool, fresh design. I'm actually really inspired by these aura posters. And I kind of want something that's like purple, that's bright. That's just very encouraging so that when you log on the app, it's more of an inspiring, positive, uplifting vibe. That's also kind of peaceful. I'm really excited about it and I hope that she can turn it into something really cool and really user friendly look at who we have here today Hello. we have my sister she's single so if you're interested <laughs> single and in need of a million dollars <laughs> so if you're a millionaire no. reach out to her anyways look at our christmas tree is this so pretty and i actually got a gift from my husband which is really nice i know what it is like did i ask for this specifically yes but i know it's not yet christmas but i wanted to unbox it in front of you guys if you want to see it so nicely wrapped so cute and i'm gonna wear it to the christmas market ah! i tried to make it cute <laughs> you guys saw selling sunset remember chelsea was like i love my husband and she's like give me the gift basically it was so funny nice cute leather jacket and it was such a good gift so thank you to him this is super cute coat from totem like a little bit of oversized but this is the jacket well, we're on our way to the christmas markets in bryant park there are like cute little shops we've seen a bunch of stuff on tiktok so we wanted to check it out while my sister is not working. Anywhere that you see popular on TikTok is packed. And I don't know if it's worth going because there are probably a lot of other really good places too. Show them the details of the sandwich. Girl, let the camera eat first. What do you rate it? Seven. Seven? come here if you're willing to wait in line in the cold but now we're trying to get some hot cocoa and we're trying to get also like maybe a dessert <laughs> this is so good this apple cider yeah it's not one of the ones that tiktok is saying is the best ones but it's really good definitely check this one out i would give this eight out of ten eight out of ten definitely it's so good <laughs> What do you rate this? 
Hold on, give me a sec. What's happening? So I would rate this a 7.5 because the food was good, but not good enough to leave your house and wait in the cold. Mm -mm. Tell us Why am I waiting in the cold for something that's not incredible? Mm -mm. So I would say, you can go, but I don't think it was worth that worth it. Stay in your house, basically. <laughs> stay, stay at home. It's freezing, stay at home. <laughs> So it is the next day and today I'm gonna be leaving the house to go cafe hopping in the city and I feel like sometimes it's so hard when you're working from home or you're fun employed to like get the urge to leave the house but it's so important. I feel like sometimes I'm more productive outside of the house than I am inside of the house. One of the cool things about New York City is that there's so many free spaces where you can get work done. Today I'm gonna be going to a few cafes but I'm also gonna be going to this free space in New York City which is actually the Natural History Museum. There's a library and a workspace on top of the Natural History, History Museum like in the new extension and that's going to be a nice like quiet space that I can work without having to pay for coffee or anything. It's free, it's quiet and it will allow me to be productive. The main tasks today are to start unit testing some of the functions. I've never done any unit testing for iOS so I'm probably going to look online first to try to see if I can see a tutorial that can help me learn how to do that. And then once I do that tutorial then I'll start unit testing and I'll take you guys on that journey. Let me finish my makeup and then let's head out to study outside. Let's see if the Natural History Museum library works out well. I think it will because I've been a couple times before and it's not super packed during this time. Let's see. The Natural History Museum is so beautiful. Such an underrated workspace in the city. It's quiet, peaceful. It's just you and some old people, a ton of space, free Wi-Fi that's really fast. So if you're in the surrounding area, Upper West Side Harlem, you have to check it out. Okay, let's go home and let's get some food. Okay, I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and for watching this vlog. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you guys and I hope you stick around for more videos where I talk about what it's like launching this app. I know this year has been crazy. I've done a lot of different types of content on this channel because I've truly been lost and I've been trying to find what content I really like to create. That means I've tried personal finance content, being a software developer and working in tech. But of course, I'm just always open to trying new content out and I hope that that the randomness of this channel doesn't dissuade people from following and supporting this channel, but I totally understand if you are not up for that ride. Thank you for all of the support you've given me so far. Anyways, I'm gonna call it a day, but before I call it a day, I do really wanna share just a few things that have been really helping me learn iOS development. I'm still a beginner in this journey, but for me, one of the most helpful resources I've used in learning iOS development has been this Stanford class like it's really been helping me so much the only languages i really knew well before learning swift are java and python and it's totally different it's a whole different paradigm those languages are more object oriented programming languages and that's kind of like how i've learned how to code and like i've learned how to develop but swift is more of a functional programming language so that's been a huge hill to climb another thing that's been a huge hill to climb is also the the MVVM. The MVVM way of creating apps has also been a huge leap for me to understand, but there's still so much more I need to learn. I've definitely been on Stack Overflow. It's been extremely useful, but the most important resource I've been using has been this Stanford class. And as well as a few YouTubers have been super helpful. Code with Chris and this YouTuber as well. These channels create amazing content and they've been really helping me on this journey. I will release another video about how I learned iOS development that's more comprehensive, the tips and advice. Once I feel like I've gotten to a good place in my learning journey where I can actually 
provide useful advice but for right now i'm still a beginner but yeah that's kind of it for right now i'm gonna close this vlog off and thank you guys so much for supporting this channel and i'll see you guys in the next video